Hey all, Kurt Sussel here from DGT Media at Fan Expo Canada 2013. We're joined today by John Little, artist extraordinaire. How are you doing today? I'm well. I don't know if I'm extraordinary, but I'm well. How are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Uh, you know, anyone that can put this amount of detail and effort into art, I think is extraordinary. That's how I picture it, so. Nice of you to say so. You know, everyone usually has that, that one person that kind of set them on their path to where they are now. Who is that for you? Uh, I guess it was Mr. McMullen in art school. Uh, he believed in what I could do and set me, uh, gave me confidence to think I could actually go out and try it. Have you uh, seen him in the, recently and showed him any of your other work? No, I haven't seen him in, I guess, almost 20 years now. It's been a long time. <laughs> well, hopefully he's still around. Uh, <laughs> it'd be a little awkward. He if might it be was. dead. I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. I, I hope not. <laughs> uh, moving on, um, do you consider yourself successful? Uh, yeah, I do. I do consider myself fairly successful. I do what I wanted to do since I was a little kid, and uh, uh, a lot of people don't have that option in life. So I do consider myself pretty successful, despite what my father might say sometimes. <laughs> Well, you're sitting at this side of the table here, so I mean, you, obviously you have a lot of great things to, to showcase, uh, not only your artistic skills, but for many people to see as well, too. Um, how do you deal with your failures, then? With my failures? I, I don't know. I drink. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I usually just sort of, most of the time, whenever I produce something, I usually feel like it didn't quite live up to what I had expected, and then usually want to start again. Um, might be just the OCD in me, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I, it's good not to consider anything a failure, really. You learn from every experience that you have in life and, um, and have to move forward. Uh, almost everything you do, it's, success isn't really judged on how you succeed, it's just how, how you pick yourself up after you fail, I guess. The younger generation are coming through. They're looking at your work as, as we did when we stopped by here, and they're seeing the detail and effort that you put into it. And they, they can become inspired, and I, I know I'm inspired by what you've done here, especially with oil works. Uh, but how can they inspire themselves? Uh, just get interested, you know? It, being interested is interesting, right? Uh, be interested in all the things that are around you and the different works that you see, and uh, check it out and learn how it's done. and and uh, be fastidious to your details. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'll have to use that in Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, once this closes up, once you head back home and, and you kind of unwind from this convention, as, as crazy as it is right now, what personal experiences are you gonna take away from it? Uh, I'm gonna take away meeting lots of really interesting people um, and uh, really getting uh, deeper into the culture and, it, and uh, enjoying what it means to be a fan in the 21st century. Uh, and is there a website we can go to to find any of this work or even purchase it? Yeah, you can go to my uh, comic website at www.fouchwa.com, uh, that's F-O-O-S-H-W-A, and then you can get linked to anything else that I do from there. Thanks so much, John. Thank you for taking the time to do this, and I hope you have a great time. I hope so too, and I hope you do as well. You're watching TGT.